Hey guys, here's my uh, short-term review of my Esker Hayduk. I'm not sure if I say that right, Hayduk. Um, anyway, I've had it for about about five or six weeks now. Rode it a dozen times, um, and all mountain, of course. And it's it rides really, really nice. First of all, this frame is incredibly light. They said it was lighter than the first Hayduk that was built um, when they were with a different brand and, and then Esker um, changed it from the Reynolds tubing and used their own steel tubing and it is really ridiculously light for a steel frame. It was only coming in around four pounds. So um, it's a pound lighter than my my Niner Sur 9 and which is the Reynolds 853 tubing. Anyway, um, and it's got some good reinforcement right here. It's not a dirt jumper frame by any means, but it's it's really nice. What I really particularly like is the way the dropouts are um, convertible. So um, I can use my old wheels, and that's a 142 by 12 um, that's in there. And as you can see, it's got lots of clearance. I'm not sure if you can see that. And that's with uh, 2.3 tires. The Terravales, and uh, those are the Terravale um, E lines, which are kind of a cross country tire. I set it up as a 1x11, not a 1x12. And of course, my Hadley hubs, you know, I'm biased towards Hadley hubs and, uh, you know, the convertible axles. I've had those hubs forever, and I think they were 135 at first, but it wasn't a 135 quick release it was actually a 135 bolt on um, or three bolts that I had that Hadley made back then um, put most of those parts I had I had the, the I had the wheels or the hubs and um, had the front wheel built up because I was using that on my single speed and then I built up the back wheel with the hubs the, those hubs are off my old foes FXR um, it's got the race face 6c uh, crank which is a little more heavy duty than the next SL and as you guys have seen in my other videos I had the next SL on my single speed and before I went to hope but I went through a couple of those um, the newer ones um, my old one's still hanging in there it's been pretty solid it's got XT drivetrain um, it's got the brand new XT brakes which I really like. Ergon grips. I've, I've converted all my bikes to those Ergon grips, the GE ones. Those are really nice grips. Um, Renthal Fat Fire. And I just did that. I don't know. It was on sale and I just thought it looked cool with the colors maybe. And, and Renthal's have a good reputation for not making nice bars. And um, I just didn't want to expend another 160 bucks on a carbon bar and I got this thing for like 60 bucks or something um, And then you can see those are the four piston XT brakes um, I put the the SLX rotors just uh, Just because I had them um, It's got the race face rims which are the arch 35 35 internal millimeter and then in the back, it's got those Velocity Blunt SS, which are 30 millimeter. Um, the Thompson seat posts and stem. And I think that pretty much SDG saddle. That pretty much completes my build. And then it's my, some of my old XT pedals. Um, and a steel um, king cage. And of course, the Fox fork. This is the factory 34. Uh, 130 millimeter travel and it's got pr plenty of clearance I've actually tried putting fatter tires in there that could fit a 2.8 tire no problem now they say this is meant for a um, no more than like a 2.4 29er and then if you want to do 275 plus you can go up to like 2.8 but I really feel looking at that clearance I think I could easily and it doesn't get muddy here in SoCal I could easily um, put a wider rim. Um, I'll probably get that same rim, but the one that's ASIM, and I'll put it in the back. So 35 ASIM rim by race face, and then go with a wider tire because it looks like it's got plenty of room. Or maybe I'll do the 275 plus. I'm 
that's kind of on the bench about that or on the fence I should say um, anyway it rides really really nice um, I've been riding a fully rigid bike forever and a single speed forever so it's kind of nice having a drive train and, and some variety and, and being able to go further I came all the way up here to the top of my favorite trail Brown Mountain and um, up to the Ken Merton trail head right here anyway um, that's how she sits it rides really nice you guys you know you'd be amazed at what a hardtail could do with a good fork um, you know this this geometry is made for a 120 I put a 130 it didn't rake it out too much but you know some of these more aggressive hardtails with a 130 140 forks I see some with even 150 I think it's great you know it's you're gonna go where you you point your front wheel anyway so you know let your back tire get tossed around and just hang on for life but um, this thing rides great it feels great the steel feels really good especially when you do steel with uh, you know double butted three cross spokes laced aluminum rim, rims it really it really gives you a nice feel and of course those Terrabelle tires uh, the light and supple with the gum walls they have a little more of a spongy feel that gives you a little bit of compliance and, and, and um, that supple feel so this bike rides really really nice I enjoy it and matter of fact if you go online and look for the Esker bikes um, it's sold out uh, I think the only ones that are left are the extra smalls so all the small medium and large that are sold out for the most part in all the colors so that should tell you something right there uh, for 600 bucks it's quite a deal if you're a guy like me that's got a lot of parts in your garage and you don't feel like buying a new wheel set you just get it with the 142 drops and you can use your old wheel set um, I'm seriously thinking of buying another one I love this bike so much and making it into a single speed with the 275 plus just because I, I've never owned a 275 plus bike and I really like to ride around on fat tires front and rear you know with some 2.8s in back and three three inch tires in front and see how that feels I think it would be a nice feel with some super wide rims like some 140 in back and 145 in front um, you know just to have that extra cushion and and, and it helps with a hard tail and, and it gives you you know traction galore so why not anyway and, and these brakes are incredible they they are squeaking a little bit I've sanded them off but look at that soot we have on the ground so they get glazed over um, hopefully that'll go away um, as the weather changes and, and they get broken in more but I've got the um, XTRs on my uh, my single speed as you guys see my single speed review for my seven so do yourself a favor if you can these when these come back in stock if you're a hardtail fanatic like I am and, and you want to go hardcore on a hardtail pick up one of these bikes pick up one of these frames build it up you'll really enjoy it it's at the entry level for it is an easy low price point especially if you're building up a single speed it shouldn't cost you that much at all so anyway um, that's my review I'll post this up you guys leave your comments and tell me what you think um, if you want to know some more details I'll be happy to answer any questions